good day students i am mr rafu jamil adeni aca your financial accounting teacher we'll be looking at consignment account for today introduction in order to sell more products a businessman may explore markets either locally or overseas when this is successful his turnover will increase and enable him to earn more profits after the market has been established, he needs to get someone to sell the goods on his behalf. Such a representative is known as agent, while he himself becomes the principal. When goods are sent to the agent, he does not become the owner because the goods are not sold to him. His duty is to arrange and sell the goods on behalf of his principal. The agent is given a commission for his services. This is usually based on the gross sales. Consignment therefore take place. When goods are sent from a principal to an agent to be sold on behalf of the principal, the principal is known as a consignor and the agent is the consignee. Learning objective. At the end of this lesson, student will be able to one, explain the term consignment in their own words. Two, explain various terms in consignment accounting and give examples. Three, differentiate between consignment and sales. Four, prepare necessary accounting entries in the book of the consignor. Consignment. Consignment of goods is the sending of goods by the consignor to the consignee who agree to sell them on behalf of the owner. The consignment accounts are concerned with recording such transactions. Characteristics. One, ownership remains with the owner. Two, the consignor is the owner. Three, the consignee is the agent. Four, the consignor can indemnify the consignee against any losses. Five, goods on consignment are not sold to the agent. Definition of terms. One, consignor. This is the person who forwards or sends goods to an agent in order to collect and sell them on his behalf on commission basis. The consignor, that is owner, retain ownership of the goods on consignment. Two, consignee. This is the agent to whom goods are forwarded in order to sell them on behalf of the principal on commission basis. The consignee has no title to the goods consigned to them. Three, commission. This is the remuneration given to the consignee for selling the goods and it is usually expressed as a percentage on the value of sales. Four, their credit their commission. This is the extra commission given to the agent for indemnifying the principal against bad debts or losses. Five, pro forma invoice. This is the invoice sent to the customer who is required to pay for goods before they are delivered to him. It is used when the supplier is not sure of the customer's credit worthiness. It shows the nature of the goods, quantity, weight, measurements, prices, etc. Differences between consignment and sales. One, under consignment, receivers of the goods is the agent while in sales receiver of the goods is a debtor two in consignment ownership remain with the sender and owner while in sales ownership passes to the person receiving the goods three under consignment goods can be returned if they are not sold under sales goods sold are not returnable except for some special reasons Let's go on a short break now. We'll come back and continue. Welcome back. 
Treatment of consignment account. Entries are made in the books of the consignor and consignee. Entries in the consignor's book. A. Open two accounts. One, goods on consignment account. And two, consignment account. B. On dispatch of goods, debit consignment account, credit goods on consignment account with cost of goods. C. Expenses paid by consignor, debit consignment account, credit bank account with the amount paid. D. Upon drawing bill on consignee, debit B receivable account, credit consignee's personal account with value. E. B receivable honored by the consignee, debit bank account, credit B receivable account with amount received. F. Advanced by consignee. Debit bank account, credit consigning account. G, expenses incurred by the consignee. Debit consigning account, credit consignment account. I, agent commission. Debit consignment account, credit consigning account. J, upon payment by the consignee. Debit bank account credit consigning account. K, transfer of balance, profits, debit consignment account, credit profit or loss account, loss, debit profit or loss account, credit consignment account. Note, any unsold stock plus a proportion of the amount of the charges incurred by the consignor and consignee in respect of the consignment must be credited to the consignment account and carried down. Illustration Austin Okocha Limited of Nigeria consigned goods of the value of 10,000 naira to their agent Samuel Eto of Cameroon. He paid freight 20 naira. Insurance 200 naira, shipping charges 200 naira, and they drew a bill on Samuel Eto at 90 days for 7,500 naira. This bill, Osnokocha Limited, discounted with their banker. The charges, therefore, being 100 naira. In due course, Samuel render account sales showing the amount for which the goods were disposed of as being 12,500 Naira. He deducted his commission, which is 7.5%, and expenses on landing, 50 Naira, warehouse rent, 50 Naira, and remit, remit a draft on National Bank for the balance. Show the necessary ledger account in the book of the consignor. Solution Consignor Books, Austin Okocha Limited. The consignment account. On the debit side, we have goods on consignment, the cost of the goods, 10,000 naira. Freight, 20 naira. Insurance, 200 naira. Shipping charge, 200 naira. Commission, which is note one, 938. Landing charges, 50 naira. Warehouse rent, 50 naira. Profit, 1,042. On the credit side, sales of 12,500. The profit is ascertained by subtracting the value on the debit side from the amount of sales to arrive at the profit of 1,042. Let's go on a break now. We'll be back to continue. Welcome back. Goods on consignment account. On the debit side, we have the trading account, 10,000 Naira. On the credit side, consignment account, 10,000 Naira. 
discount charge account. On the debit side, bank, 100 Naira. On the credit side, profit or loss, 100 Naira. Cash book. On the debit side, be receivable, 7,500. Consigning balance, 3,962. On the credit side, discount charges, 100. Consignment account, freight, 20. Insurance, 200. Shipping charges, 200. Balance carry down, 10,942. Total of 11,462 on both debit side and credit side. Consigning account of Samuel. On the debit side, we have consignment account sales 12,500. Credit side, be receivable 7,500. Commission 9,938. Loading expenses 50 naira. Warehouse rent 50 naira. Bank 3,962. Be receivable account. On the debit side, consigning somewhere 7,500. Cash book 7,500. Note one the commission is calculated thus 7.5% on the amount of sales of 12,500, and that's what gives us the 938 naira of commission. Entries in consignee book procedure A. On receipt of goods, no entry in the book. B. Payment of expenses, credit bank account, debit consignor account. C. On sending advance, debit consignor account, credit bank or bill payable. D. Goods sold by the consignee for cash or credit, debit bank or debtor account, credit consignor account. E. Consignee's commission, debit consignor account, credit commission account. F. Money received from consignment debtors, debit bank account, credit consignment debtor account. G. Bad debts to be borne by the consignor, debit consignor account, credit consignment debtor account. H. Bill of exchange accepted by the consignee in favor of consignor, debit consignor account, credit bills payable account. I. On the settlement of balance due to consignor, debit consignor account, credit cash account. From the above illustration, will be used for our analysis. Show how the accounts will appear in the book of the consignee, Samuel Eto Limited. The consignor account in the book of the consignee. On the debit side, commission 938, landing expenses 50, warehouse rent 50, bills payable 7,500, cash, which is the balance of 3,962. On the credit side, sales 12,500. Thank you for listening.